None of these jobs require a college degree, but in all of them, you can make over 100K a year without facing the same level of competition as traditional tech jobs. And the reason nobody's competing for these roles is actually insane. See, everyone's obsessed with working at some cool company, Google, Meta, and any thing opening gets flooded with thousands of applicants. But there's an entire industry where everyone's ignoring and hundreds of thousands of open positions. And they're all paying anywhere from 100,000, even up to 350,000, because these positions have been sitting empty for months. Let's start with job number one. In 2008, a two-year-old named Kaylee Maria Anthony vanished from her home in Orlando, Florida. And police had no leads until a specialized tech team came in. They dug through the hard drives, traced emails, and searched hidden logs. And in the end, that digital trail led them to a suspect. Most people think this is some kind of work only exists in crime shows, but it's a real job. And it's booming right now. And I'm gonna share it with you. See, the US maybe have 40,000 people doing this kind of work, but each year companies report over 100,000 job openings in this field. If you choose this path, you'll be working mainly with investors, governments, and private firms and getting paid anywhere from $95,000 to $150,000 a year starting out. So what is this job? It's called the Digital Forensic Examiner. People with this job usually uncover stolen data, trace ransomware attacks, and help put cyber criminals in jail and many more. Now, if you're wondering how to get started with it, the good news is that you don't even need a computer science degree. You could break into this job by doing three things. Number one, build hands-on skills. I'll explain that more in a minute on how to actually do this later. Number two, get IT certified. This field has a few core certifications you'll need, but they're pretty easy to get. And number three, network and gain as much experience as you can. Once you have the experience, you can start to apply for things like internships, lab work, consulting, or even volunteer with the law enforcement or cybersecurity firms. And from there, you could land roles in governments, law enforcement, or at private cybersecurity firms. Now, let's move on to the next one. Job number two might be one of the most critical IT roles in the world, but hardly anyone knows it exists. On April 28, 2025, Spain was hit with a massive cyber attack knocking out electricity for millions of people at midday. It resulted in traffic lights dying, phone networks going dark, and hospitals switching to backup generators. And with state-sponsored hacking groups from countries like North Korea, China, and Russia, these attacks were only getting more common. But the people in the job are the people who protect us. There's a group of cyber specialists who protect these systems that run power plants and other massive factories. And globally, there's a huge shortage of them. Right now, there are only about 6,000 certified professionals in this field, but over 50,000 open positions right now vacant. And because these people protect such huge infrastructures, companies and governments are willing to pay top dollars for this talent. It's called the Industry Cybersecurity Specialist, or sometimes known as the Critical Infrastructure Security Engineer. These specialists often make anywhere from 120 to 180,000 in just US-based jobs, and sometimes even more, depending on their location and responsibility. And because the systems they defend are mission-critical infrastructure, these jobs can't be outsourced just to overseas or contractors. Now, if you want to break into this role, here's how people often start. First, they get industry certified with the CompTIA Network Plus, but then they start specializing in industrial cybersecurity certs like the ICS or the GI. CSP, it's designed for people who work on engineering and cybersecurity in controlled systems. Also, learning standards like the ISA slash IEC 62443 is so important. Secondly, building hands-on experience. So this is where doing internships or entry-level roles in industries like power utilities or water plants, working with SCADA or IoT systems, and learning how this equipment is controlled and fails under stressful environments. Finally, stay local to the infrastructure. Many of these jobs require a physical presence, so find opportunities in your local region where critical systems exist. Now, job number three is one of the most overlooked careers in IT, 
but it can be one of the most lucrative. I didn't even know this existed until like 10 years into my career. In this role, work with high stakes, high value technology, like million dollar manufacturing systems, advanced medical equipment, or industrial robotics. These stakes are huge because million dollars are on the line and a decision that could affect thousands of patients. Doctors, executives need someone who not only understands that technology, but can explain it in plain language and how it works and why it's worth the actual investment. That's where these specialist consultants come in. They're translators between the engineers who build the product and to the executives who sign the check. And the upside is massive because these deals are so large that people in this role can earn over 400000 a year thanks to the commissions, the bonus, and the stock options as well and plus all the perks and the six-figure base salary. This job is called the sales engineer. And no, this isn't about making cold calls or pushing sales tactics. In fact, it's almost nothing to do with traditional sales. Instead, you see, it's about understanding complex technology, explaining it in a way that decision makers can trust. And if you're wondering how to break in, here's a simple four-step path to get started. Now, number one, you need to choose your area of tech. Is it like, wireless technology, maybe technology focused on medical devices, factory machines, robotics, cloud software, cybersecurity, you get the idea. Number two is layer on communication and soft skills. The job is all about presenting and creating complicated tech simple. So start small, explaining small tools or technology to friends and family. Practice presentation. Whiteboarding also is key. And take roles where you can talk to customers about IT products. Number three, add credibility. Get an IT certification in your chosen area of expertise. For example, AWS for cloud, Siemens for manufacturing, product training for medical devices, and so on. Number four, start junior. Look for entry-level roles like associate sales engineer or technical specialist. In these jobs, you can kind of shadow senior people and learn how these big deals actually happen. Now, let's step into job four. Every federal agency from defense to intelligence to infrastructure relies on a hidden workforce that keeps its network secure and its data safe. But these workers aren't usually government employees. They work privately. And right now, there are more than 650,000 of these positions open. And the pay is crazy. These roles can easily pay you up to 200,000 a year. And starting out, you can make 95,000 a year. And unlike the private sector, these jobs don't vanish when the market dips because they are long-term, steady, and tied to essential government operations. This path is called federal contracting. It's a hidden IT career track that powers everything from cybersecurity to IT to data analysts inside the government. And if you're serious, I'll share the exact playbook to get in. First, you need to start with certifications in cybersecurity, networking, or data analysis. Get like the CompTIA Security Plus or the Certified Information System Security Professional. From there, you can apply to contracting positions that work directly with agencies like Department of Defense, NSA, or the Homeland Security. And if you get hired, they'll sponsor even your clearance process. But keep in mind, this takes patience. So once you're cleared with your clearance, you're part of an exclusive group for life that has access to the most stable and high-paying IT career tracks in tech. Finally, job number five. This job is one of the coolest and most fun that you get to get into, a drone data analyst. Every single day, imagine trillions of dollars of oil that flow through pipelines that stretch for thousands of miles. Power lines can carry electricity to hundreds of millions of homes and bridges and highways that bear the weight of entire economies. All this infrastructure has to be inspected. And because one small crack can be catastrophic, but today, humans in hard hats aren't the people doing those inspections. It's drones. And drone data analysts are the ones making all these raw images, videos, 3D models the drones pick up. Right now, the US alone faces a shortage of 100,000 drone pilots and analysts. Companies in energy, construction, agriculture, logistics are hiring at scale because drones are faster, safer, and save millions of dollars in inspection costs. And salaries for these roles typically range from 80,000 to 140,000 a year. And for this role, you don't need a computer science degree, but the past is still best suited for people who are naturally analytical and detail oriented and wouldn't mind flying a drone. So 
Here's how you get started. First, you'll need a Part 107 drone pilot certification from the FAA. And then you can learn related softwares and tools, tools like the Pix4D or the Drone Deploy that takes drone footage and turns it into 3D maps, thermal images, and even reporting. So training in these platforms is what makes you valuable. And once you get those skills using these tools, all you need to do is apply to these open jobs. Because companies in construction, utilities, and even agriculture are actively hiring for these roles right now. Now, these are just five examples, but there are dozens of high paying IT careers like hiding in plain sight. But if you're unsure which path to choose, I put together a free quiz that shows you exactly which high paying IT tech path fits your skills, your lifestyle goals, and your personality. It just takes three minutes, by the way. It's personalized, and the best part, it's 100% free. Just tap the link on your screen or in the description to get your custom IT career path today. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.